I'm glad that you could join me for midweek. Hope that you made it through all the ice and snow of last week. Isn't the Texas weather just crazy? Um, 14 one week ago and then 70 plus uh, this week. It's just crazy. Uh, but uh, hopefully that you made it through safe and sound and found all the help that you needed to make it safely through that. And uh, this week on midweek, uh, we're going to be taking a look in Psalms, the 25th chapter. And let me ask you a question. How many times have we prayed, God, just let me know what to do in this situation? Or God, just tell me and I'll do it. But is that really what we mean when we say that? So I want us to take a look in Psalm chapter 25, starting in verse 4. And it says, Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. I wait for you all day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and your faithful love, for they have existed from old. You know, part of that that we can uh, relate to just right off the bat is we're praying to God for he is our salvation. He is our hope. Um, and we do want to please him, but I think it's only up to a point if we're going to be real honest with ourselves. So um, it says, make your ways known to me, Lord, and teach me your paths. Most of us have been in church for a long, long time. And when we hear scripture, we think, oh yeah, I'm familiar. I remember reading that before. Very few times do we say, I didn't know that was in the Bible. And so we're able, we have the knowledge to be able to follow God. Um, it's just, are we choosing to follow God? Are we still seeking to know God's ways? Or are we wanting God to come along with us? Um, are we wanting to learn the paths that he have? Or do we want to mark our own road for ourselves and just have him come along with us and maybe bless what we're doing? So I think, um, you know, if we're just honest with ourselves, and I'm talking to myself as much as anybody, is do I really want to know God's plan for my life? And I say I do, but then what happens when it doesn't match up with what I already think or what I already desire for my life? How does that line up? And do we still say, God, I want to know your ways, but I don't want to do what you want me to? We have to be honest. We have to be humble. If God is our salvation and he is our king and our Lord, then if he's asking us to do something or not to do something, um, then we need to be busy about doing that. Um, I heard one time a guy ask, um, said, you know, I want God to tell me what I need to do for my job. I don't know which one to pick. And the guy he was talking to said, well, if you follow him in the small things, you're going to hear him in the big things. And I think that's so true. You know, if we're not willing to obey God on the small things in our lives, how can he trust us with the bigger things in life? And so God wants us to learn his ways and to walk according to his word. And we want him to guide us uh, in truth and we want him to teach us. Is that the desire of our heart? Or do we just want to know when it fits and is convenient for us? Because the next part of that says, I wait for you all day long. Do we? I don't know that I can always say that honestly. Um, I know that there's sometimes I've had to wait many days to, to figure out what God wants me to do. But a lot of times I'm like, Okay, God, I, I'm on a time schedule here. I need you to hurry up and answer this because 
I've got to know by noon. Are we willing to wait for God, for him to teach us and to give us an answer, to give us directions for our lives? Are we really willing to wait? You know, in the age that we live in, um, everything is so immediate. Uh, we have microwaves, we have drive-throughs, which, okay, in today's climate are not always very fast because <laughs> the lines are usually long. Uh, and now they've come out with this cool invention called an air fryer. If you haven't tried one, they're amazing. Um, so anyway, we're just so used to things just being very quick. And God's not always in the quick business. He wants us to get to know Him and His ways. And when we're faithful in that, and when we're willing to wait, He's going to be faithful in coming alongside us and giving us direction, giving us His peace and His grace. And, you know, the psalmist even says that. It says, remember your compassion and your faithful love because they've existed from old. And we are glad that they have. Um, and so we depend on those that his faithful love and his com enduring compassion for us, we depend on that a lot. Um, in the message version, verse 6 says, Mark the milestones of your mercy and love, God. Rebuild the ancient landmarks. You know, sometimes... We, we're familiar with God's mercy and love, but we want him to hurry up and answer us and give us direction and answer us that we can understand. Um, but he's saying, rebuild these ancient landmarks. And if you've done any construction in your house, rebuilding is not a quick and easy thing to go through. Um, you may be aware that the church had uh, some flooding. Um, you know, we're in a waiting pattern to um, have people come out and look at it. Uh, the adjuster, we're having to wait. Um, and then we've got to wait for things to dry out. And then we've got to wait for certain types of plumbers to be able to come out and repair some of the leaks. So it's not an easy thing. It's just not, oh, in a couple of hours, it's all going to be done. Um, and so we're, if we're faithful to walk alongside God and really have a desire in our hearts to know His ways and His truths and say, teach me, Lord, teach me. Um, take me by your hand and lead me in the path that I need to go. Um, but I'm afraid <laughs> it's kind of like the mom with the child and the mom's trying to lead the child and he has other things in mind. He wants to go play with that flower that he sees over here. And he's pulling in the opposite direction. And the mom's going, no, nope, we need to go this way. Nope, over this way. Are we like that with God? God says, I need you to be over here. And we're like, yeah, but I really want to over here, God. This is, look how shiny and bright. And that's really what I desire. And God says, desire me, desire my way. And, um, I will guide you and teach you. When I was in youth ministry, there was a song uh, chorus that we would sing. And you may be familiar with some of the words. It says, I will seek you in the morning and I will learn to walk in your ways. Step by step, you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days. And I think that comes right from this psalm. Or we're saying, God, I'm seeking you, and I want to learn to walk in your ways. Step by step, lead me, and I'll follow you all of my days. Is that the desire of your heart today, to be able to walk step by step with God? Maybe he's at a slow pace. Maybe he's wanting to stop and uh, enjoy the scenery instead of running full speed ahead. He wants us to stay in step with him. So let me pray for us. God, we just thank you for the opportunity to learn from your word. 
And God, help us to stay in step with you. And God, I know that we love you and we depend on you for our salvation. May we also depend on you to live each day with you so that we can follow you all the days of our lives. And remember your faithfulness and your compassion and your goodness when you remember us. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining me for midweek. And until next time.